Capsule laser assisted phacoemulsification of intumescent and dense cataract breaking barriers. Look at the anterior segment OCT and look to the free eco area and the fluid inside the capsule. Here is the surgery. I started with two paracentases and 2.4 clear corneal incision, then applying HPMC over the cornea and using special capsule blue to stain the capsule. After one minute, wash out the capsule blue and look at staining of the anterior capsule and look at the central tree band landmark. Then injecting the dispersive OVD in backfill technique. Here is the application of the laser. Look at the circle of the laser, which is concentric with the central tree band landmark as it's clear. Then applying the, uh, the laser, which is 0.3 second. Here is in slow motion. Look to the complete 360 cutting of the anterior capsule and look to the concentration with the central tree band landmark. You can see the central disc, then here is the emulsification of this cataract. Look at that density, it's a brown, dense nucleus. Here also, you can see the elasticity and the strength of the rim of the anterior uh, capsular rexes, which is very strong and uh, very elastic and help the surgeon in introducing his instrument and he can see his a chopper where it is going while chopping this dense nucleus. Here is I'm using the horizontal chop technique. As we can see, I chopped this dense brown nucleus in two small fragments, then emulsifying each fragment alone with multiple injection of dispersive OVD all the time of emulsification of this dense nucleus to protect the back of the cornea as we need a uh, high ultrasonic energy to emulsifying this brown nucleus as you can see here is the last fragment then shifting to coax uh, shifting to bimanual irrigation aspiration using the IA through the paracentesis to wash and clean the cortex matter. As you can see also, you can see where you introduce your aspirational probe to hold and aspirate the cortex. And also you can do polishing of the anterior capsular rim, as you can see with polishing of the posterior capsule from the fibers, the cortex fibers. Here is the end of the emulsification and the cortex removal, then injecting cohesive OVD to form the capsular bag and antechamber to implant a single piece hydrophobic IOL. Now let us focus on the uh, IOL, how it is secured properly inside the capsular bag and look at the beautiful 360 degrees overlapping of the rim of the capsule rixes with the edge of the optic of the IOL. Here's the end removing the viscoelastic anterior and behind the IOL, then stromal hydration. And look at the patient on the next day, you can see clear cornea with vision 2020. And thank you for watching.